Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today let's talk about row actions in the filament tables. And typically we're used to edit and delete actions and we can enable and disable them easily. Also you can add a view action which would be a URL to show the records data. But today I want to show you an example of a custom action which can do whatever externally. And this comes from an open source project called Dinero which is available for free on GitHub. So you can browse the full code but today I want to show you specifically this part called refresh balance. So in the wallet resource of that project you can click refresh balance and then here you see balance refreshed cache wallet and that's it. So there's no external URL, there's no edit or delete, you just refresh the balance of this wallet, whatever that means, that doesn't really matter. So it's a good example of a custom action. And if we take a look at the official documentation of filament, for example, in the table actions, in the row actions, a pretty typical example is the edit form, right? Which is action with URL. Also pretty typical example action with callback function of deleting the record. But actually in here in action you can do anything you want. So the whole concept of action in filament, which is actually a separate page in the documentation, separate section. So you can install filament actions outside of filament resources at all. So in the overview of that, the whole concept is action make and then inside some action, not necessarily edit or delete. So if we take a look at the code of that Dinero project, here's the action. We have action make refresh balance, that name doesn't matter that much. We have label which comes from translations. We have icon and color and then inside there's a callback function which accepts the parameter of the current record of wallet. That wallet is an eloquent model. Then you call whatever function you want on that eloquent model. In this case, the eloquent model wallet uses external package for managing Laravel wallets. Again, it doesn't really matter what that does. Basically a method on the model and then you send the success notification, which is shown on the top right of the page. So yeah, kind of a simple example, but I wanted to give you more context about where that action comes from and emphasize that inside of here you have a total freedom, well, almost total freedom to have a callback function and do whatever you want with the current record of the model in the resource. I hope that tip was helpful. Subscribe to the channel to get more tips like this one and potentially longer videos if I have more time and see you guys in those other videos.